Now, WGEM Sports with Sports Director Tony Cornish Jr. Well, attention sports fans, the IHSA 2023 prep softball season now officially in full swing across the tri-state area. And in a schedule adjustment, though, Quincy Notre Dame in action on their home dirt today, playing host to the Lady Panthers of Camp Point Central and a varsity JB exhibition of sorts where a lot of players got some time on the field during uh, this eight inning tune up of sorts. The backyard again, the site of today's action. Central looking to uh, take on the blue and gold and get a little pride and uh, get a dub maybe in this little exhibition. Foo pa pa in the fourth inning though, Q&D's Mariah Bex hits a deep fly ball in the right field. Lady Panthers make a play on the ball, but one run would score. Lady Raiders wouldn't slow down there. Morgan Zanger. Gets all of that fastball, send it screaming. That's a line drive into the corner out and right. Another run crosses the plate for Quincy Notre Dame. The hits, well, they just keep on rolling for the Raiders. Illy Marth sends a fastball right back up the middle. The Lady Raiders take a 4-3 lead. Camp Point looking to reestablish a little momentum. That's Laura Miller displaying her pitching prowess and getting the Q&D batter to come up empty on that pitch. Miller rings up that punch out. We do know that on Thursday, March 23rd, JV and varsity teams at Q&D will be in official action against Southeastern starting at 4.30 p.m. Monday, uh, Central will be in action against Southeastern as well. We wish all our area teams all the very best. Meanwhile, other softball action that was officially in the books. <clears throat> Brown County 3-4 falling short against Macomb in a big one. Caitlin Robinson 2-3 for three at the dish, one RBI winning pitcher in that one. Zoe Wagner also had a big day at the at this game as well, IHSA softball action continued for the Havana Lady Ducks. They win big over Triopia, 16-3, your final in six innings of play. IHSA baseball action. Unfortunately, Quincy Blue Devils lose their opener on the road against Belleville West, 9 to zip the final there. Line 9 West, meanwhile, gets by Western Pleasant Hill, 10-1. to Hayden Ranking, your winning pitcher, going five strong innings. And Caleb Crenshaw and Carter Chapin also had big games for the Chargers. Line 9 West, Brown County. They will be on the schedule on Thursday. Meanwhile, Camp Point Central losing to Brown County. Four zip was that final. Also, Greenfield Northwestern getting by the Salkies of Pittsfield, 11 to 7. And Jacksonville shuts out the Bombers of Macomb, a 9 to zip.